the single file line. He's got Brendan Gaughan just in front of him. Moving that second line. Blake Cook and around goes the 85. So Bobby Gerhardt spins, brings the caution out. Gerhardt coming into the trial area and the grass. Success in the Xfinity series as well. You see him behind the pack getting sideways. It almost seemed like a one car incident. It's hard to uh, hard to really understand exactly what happened there. That was coming out of turn number four. Take another look. There he is. Bobby Gerhardt. It is not a single car incident. There's a uh, car behind him obviously got in the left for the quarter panel and got him spun around. Nice job of locking it down. Just kept the wheel straight, locked it down. That's only the best thing to do. Uh, you, sometimes you try too hard, you get yourself wrecked worse. He did a really good job of just accepting the situation, getting all four wheels locked, just getting the car slowed down. And Kyle Busch mentioned the fact that he'd love there to be no grass around a racetrack. Well, he was able to save that, lock it down, and just kind of glided into the grass here because of that pavement as they came out of turn four. Watch the splitter dig in. You know, the wet grass, when the front end sets down, you had all the weight of the car, and it just grabs the grass. And, you know, when you the faster you go through it, the harder it can grab it. We've seen a lot of damage the car has done. Uh, this incident, he was going pretty quickly, but you still saw him dug up all that grass. So the first caution comes out on lap number two here at Daytona. Out in front of the field, it was Brian's position. He got into the grass as well. Looks like he might have had some help. When we talk about the grass, you see a perfect uh, example of how the grass there on the entrance to turn three, kind of the car started bouncing, the splitter got down into it. We see here he gets kind of spit out of the pack. Luckily, the splitter stays on it. Right there where it digs in, there's an opportunity to really do some damage to the front of that car. And one advantage he had also brakes. Now you got a, behind, a guy behind you that's hitting you. If that's going on in the middle of the corner, a lot of times. Oh, into the wall, fresh. we've got another one. Sparks are flying, and the caution comes out once again. Yeah, he just turned right to try to go on the outside line, and there was a 33 car, and, uh, you know, he didn't know he was there, just turned right, turned himself in. Not into the wall, and that brings the caution out once again. Back of that pack. Let's take a look what happened with Cale Conley. Difficult to know what happened there. Obviously, he was, you know, only car in the shot. I don't know if he had a tire problem or something. Was and around goes the pack in the middle. Darrell Wallace Jr. gets caught up. The big one happens just as they go through the trioval. Back up into the wall hard, Brendan Poole. Eric Almarola caught up in this in the 98. The caution comes out. Point here, guys. Causing the 16 to turn left. It hits the 62, which picks up the six. And then as they come back up the racetrack, there's nowhere for these guys to go. You see the damage, the cars all over the racetrack has forced NASCAR to put the red flag out, stop the field here on the front stretch while they do cleanup. You see the six spins to the inside. The 60 has nowhere to go, really. And, and look, as the 52 and the six spin to the left, this is that new pavement area down into turn one that Daytona has added for this race right here. And then the, the 42, this is still a big, heavy impact. He comes back across the track, up the banking, and you see that softball, the give of that softball. That is a heavy impact, but I assure you that... Brennan was trying to drive it. The left, whatever lines build momentum, he's got to slow it down by trying to get in front of him. And now up against the wall, he gets into the wall. Brian Scott trying to block into the wall, and he goes. The caution comes out again. Brian Scott doing what you said, trying to slow the momentum down, did it too late, got hooked up, and into the wall he went. Now, Brian Scott, this is his responsibility. We, we know that's how this racing is. We know you, ha you have to block if you're going to try to win, but you got to do it at the right time. He just made a mistake. It was an aggressive move in an effort to win the race. Obviously, his mistake, had he pulled it off and done it a little bit earlier, he did the right thing. He just didn't move quick enough. So many cars involved. I mean, once they start spinning, there's just I mean, there's nowhere to go. You try to get on the brakes, you try to get on the gas. Casey Kane, he uh, somehow avoids another one, Rick. Austin Dillon. Casey Kane, both come through. White flag in the air, Austin Dillon, your leader. His best finish.
finish in Daytona, a fourth, looking for his first win at this famed track. Still all single file, top four, all single file. Half back to the nine. Can the nine get a push right here from the one to propel him by the 33? The one's trying all he can. Nine's closing the gap just a little bit. Andy Houston, the spotter, telling him all about the traffic behind him. Austin Dillon trying to stay in front. He's off that yellow line, staying in front of the nine of Chase Elliott. Elliott with a final run, trying to get by as they come into the trioval. And around goes the 18 of Suarez behind him. Austin Dillon will hold on. Good job, good job,